Hi guys, this is Katie with another creepy pasta story for you. Um, the title of this one is Truth or Dare. It was written by Derp Butt. So um, just sit back and relax and we will get started. Okay, now it's your turn. Chloe cheered loudly. Shh, you're going to wake up your mom, said Chrissy. Oops, I'm sorry. So truth or dare? Um, I say truth. Chrissy seemed to be hesitating, but Chloe couldn't have it. Why truth? That's boring. You never pick dare, you chicken. But chicken, chicken, Chloe crossed her arms and turned away. Fine, dare then. What do you want me to do, said Chrissy. I want you to go to my mother's room, flicker the lights, and slam the door shut. Chloe pointed towards the door in the hallway, right next to Chloe's bedroom, facing the stairs. Just to scare my mom, because she forbid us to talk so late at night. Are you sure? said Chrissy. Won't I get caught? Won't I get in trouble? Maybe she'll find out we've been up all this time and maybe she'll be mad and won't let me come over anymore. What? She's not like that, silly. She'll probably blame me anyways. Worst case scenario, I'll just get grounded. Okay, fine. Chrissy went into the hallway and as Chloe said, she flickered the lights, closed the bedroom door with a loud slam, enjoying the sound of her mother's loud gasp and returned to Chloe's bedroom closing the door behind her. They giggled together about what Chrissy had just done. The giggling stopped when Chloe's mother had found her way to the hallway, stomping towards Chloe's room frustrated. Chloe quickly gathered the Ouija board, candles, books, and other shit, and threw it in the corner, jumped in her bed, and pretended that they were asleep. Her mother opened the door, about to say something, but didn't. She sighed, she stood there for a second, and then closed the door back again. She retreated to her bedroom, went back to sleep, and keeping the lights on and the door closed this time. After a few minutes, Chloe crawled out of the bed quietly and grabbed the Ouija board and searched the ground for the playing chart. She then sat down in the middle of the room again, lighting all four candles and spelling out the word slowly. That was a close call. You almost got us caught. So that was it. Um, it's a really short one, but I think it's cute. Um, so if you guys liked it, please like and subscribe to my channel um, and I will be posting more creepypastas as well. So um, I will see you guys later. Bye.